In today's video, I'm going to be going through the last three weeks that I've been trading NFTs and talk about how I went from having $500 to trading that all the way to about $12,000. Plus, I've still got a couple of NFTs in my wallet that are worth quite a bit that I haven't even sold yet. So these are pretty much realized gains that I have generated over the last three weeks. And if you had told me three weeks ago that I was going to make this money, I would have told you I don't want anything to do with NFTs. I think they're kind of ridiculous, and they are, right? People are trading JPEGs for millions upon millions of dollars. The Bathing Yet Yacht Club just sold a batch of 101 NFTs of monkeys for $24 million. Some of the prices are absolutely insane, but people are out here making money. And you can think it's as ridiculous as you want. I think it's ridiculous too. And you know, fair warning before we get into this, I don't think it's something that you should probably get in. I think it's one of the riskiest investments out there right now. Probably going to a lot of these, you know, projects and JPEGs and images online are all going to go to zero. I would imagine a lot of these have no functionality. There's a lot of money grab projects out there right now. And people are going to lose a lot of money. People are going to get hurt through this. However, if you are smart, there is ways you can go out there and make money. And I'm going to talk about how I made money over the past sort of three weeks and how it's kind of getting a little bit less lucrative right now. But if you can still find good projects, you might be able to make something. So let's jump in. It's going to be a little bit of a story time. We're going to go through this. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And let's take a look at what NFTs I traded to turn $500 into 12 grand in the last couple of weeks. So this essentially started three weeks ago when I was in the Dumb Money Discord. If you don't know the Dumb Money YouTube channel, they're a really good investing YouTube channel where they talk about stocks and social arbitrage investing. Well, I'm in their Discord and I just happened to one morning to be in there and there's a channel for nfts i jump in and one of the guys in there he is streaming a launch of a new nft most nfts are on the ethereum network however in the last week or so solana has absolutely blew up it has skyrocketed there is so many more nfts being launched on the solana network and the reason is when you buy an nft on ethereum it costs you like 100 200 sometimes thousands of dollars just in transaction fees. So you might pay $200 for an NFT, but have to pay $300 in transaction fees or gas fees. And that sucks for your common man. I wouldn't even do it. I don't even really like it. I hate buying NFTs on Ethereum because I hate paying that gas fee. It's just another cost to take into consideration when you're making that sort of investment. However, on Solana, you go ahead, you trade your NFTs, and it's pretty damn cheap. It costs a fraction of a penny for every transaction. So whenever you're out there, you're minting a new project. Minting essentially means getting one of the first ever NFTs in a collection. If a collection releases 10,000 NFTs and you mint one of them, you've got, you're the first owner of that NFT. So when you mint on Solana, there's no real transaction fees other than a fraction of a penny. So obviously that's really good. I can trade in and out of NFTs without having to pay thousands of dollars in fees, which is just unsustainable for most people. Now, if you don't know what an NFT is, don't worry. I'm going to show you in a second some of these. I'm going to show you them inside my wallet. But in general, it stands for non-fungible token. And essentially, this means it's like a piece of property on the blockchain that you own and no one else can replicate. But obviously, you have people out there saying that, oh, you can just right click, save as, and you've got the same thing. And I think that's a fair enough assumption. However, I do understand, you know, the, the point of it. That's like saying you can take a photo of the Mona Lisa and now you own the Mona Lisa. Well, you don't. That's not what the value is. The value is owning the original. And when you mint an NFT or you buy an NFT off someone else, you then own that original. So that's where people see value in this. I think with NFTs, there's so much cool stuff going to come in the future. Right now, it seems to be pretty much JPEG profile pics that are just absolutely blowing up and it's kind of like Tulip Mania. But in the future, I think there's going to be a lot of cool things come, especially in stuff like gaming. And that's my reason for being in some of the projects that I'm currently in. So let's go ahead and go back to that morning where I was in the Dumb Money Discord. And I went ahead and I stumbled across one of the channels. One of the guys in there, he was live streaming a drop on Solana. I don't know why this sucked me in or I got attracted to it. I must have just been bored that morning. I stumbled in there. I started watching it. And there was a mint coming up within the R. And this meant you needed Solana to actually mint these. And I thought, why not? I'm going to jump in. And this was like before Solana got popular. Three weeks ago, there was pretty much like three projects on Solana. This one was probably the fourth that was launching on it. And I somehow happened to stumble into this, buy some Solana and get into it. 
Let me show you the project that I got into. So this is the project right here that I got into. It's called Salamas. These are JPEG pictures of pixelated llamas. It's pretty silly, but I thought, look, I'll spend a couple hundred dollars on these. I went ahead and I minted one of these. The launch was absolutely insane. It went terribly. A lot of things happened. I got really lucky. A lot of people went ahead and then minted, but there was a lot of like flaws in the code. Some people minted and got nothing. I minted and I actually got three llamas. So there was all of this craziness going on at the launch. They ended up having to refund a ton of people and the people who like me who got multiple llamas, we got to keep ours. So that day I was pretty happy. I'd picked up a legendary llama. I had two other ones and we were waiting on the market being launched where we could actually trade these. So I go to sleep that night and I wake up the next day. I open up the discord for the llamas. People are saying their llamas had died. These llamas went ahead and next thing you know, I went into my wallet, I looked and it had turned into a gravestone. If you actually check in my wallet right now, I have one of these gravestones. You can see right here, it says rip gen one. So what they did was they went ahead, they killed off all of the llamas because the launch failed. So now I had three gravestones. And at this point, these are pretty much worthless. People are angry, they're going ahead, they're just trying to sell these and offload them. Well, I thought this is maybe a good chance to pick some of these up. Whenever people are in chaos, there's blood in the streets, that's when you buy some. So let me show you my wallet on that first day of trading. So you can see here on my first day of trading, I started to pick these up. This was 22 days ago. Uh, I was spending 0.24 sol, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and then things started getting really crazy. People started dumping these for nothing. I was sniping these for 0.04 sol. That's like $4. And you can see how many of them I picked up. I picked up an absolute ton of these, and then I started flipping them. I probably shouldn't have flipped them this early, but I did. I was making a nice profit. You know, the most expensive ones I was buying here was like 0.3. I was selling them for 0 0.5, 0 0.65, 0 0.5, 0 0.46. Uh, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, I sold a ton of these. You can see here that I sold one of these for 20 sol. This was a legendary grave, it was one of the rare ones. Remember I said I picked up a legendary initially. I sold it for 20 sol. At the time, sol was at about $70. I think that made me like $1,400, so I was like really excited because I'd flipped $500, I'd flipped some of these other things. I think at this point, I had about $2,000 in my wallet. Now, at today's price of Solana, Solana is in around $200 as I'm recording this video, that would mean that this is worth $4,000. So it's pretty crazy. Along the way, I have been taking profits. Let me show you my wallet right now. So if we take a look at my wallet, you can see here inside my Phantom wallet, I have about $12,000. There's USD coin, uh, USDT, and then I still have some Solana here. So along the way, I've learned from the last time that I was in crypto. I haven't been in it since. I lost everything that I made. This time I says, I'm gonna take some profits on the way up. So I've been taking some profits here uh, and we've got about 4,000 in Solana and then the rest is in stable coins, which again, they could just explode some morning. That's just the way crypto is. Um, but they're stable coins, they're meant to stay at the value of a dollar. So hopefully they do. So things over that week was pretty much focused on Solanas. There was like storylines going on. They released this guy called Tuco, who I picked up one of him. I flipped him for a little bit, made a little bit of money on him. Then they released Gen 2 Llamas, which are the Llamas that are traded on the market right now. You can see I was buying and selling some of these, making a little bit of profit here and there, losing a little bit here and there. And this is when I got kind of excited. Solana started to gain a little bit of popularity. More and more projects were popping on the scene. And essentially for a couple of days or a week or so, any project you entered, as soon as it minted, if you could get the mint, it was kind of hard to get the mint because there was maybe 30,000 people trying to get 10,000 of a, of a you know, project. We went ahead and we were able to pick up quite a few at mint and able to flip them really, really quickly for a huge profit. So let's scroll up here and see the next project that I get into. So I, again, I was in that llama market for ages. The next thing I picked up was Bold Badgers. Bold Badgers launched by Solana. They're the guys who own the kind of best marketplace on Solana right now. They launched Bold Badgers. I think the mint price was five sol on the Badgers. I minted one, I managed to grab one. I listed it on the market as soon as I could for 20 sol. It sold instantly. I made 15 sol on that trade. And again, I didn't really like the artwork on the Badgers. I didn't care about them. I was just getting into the mint try and make some money and flip it really quickly. Now badgers are worth something like five, six sol or so. So I got a really good deal on that. I got out of it quickly uh, and made some nice profit on it. And again, continue to flip these graves. And you can see 
further down the line, these graves started to creep up. You can see here, I started selling some for four, 3.4, 2.9, 2.5. A lot of the profit I've made is in them smaller grave trades. But then the next project to launch was Sol Burge. I managed to grab one of these for three Sol. You can see here, I sold it for 13.7 Sol. So again, made a 10 Sol gain. That's about two grand at today's prices we move on to the next project. Again, just selling graves, flipping graves here. And we're actually just at today. So that's where most of the money that I made has come from. There's one other project on a different marketplace that I'm going to show you as well. And I really messed up on it. I've pretty much lost out maybe on about $10,000 because I was completely stupid, but that's the way these go. Uh, but right here, you can see that is up to today on my Salon Art history. You can see here, I've purchased one of these little lions that I launched yesterday. I grabbed one of them and you can see them up here in my wallet as well. You can see I've got this little lion. You can also see this little ghosty dude right here. So that was the next mint that I get into. It was kind of the first mint that I went ahead, got into and thought, I need to get out of this. This is not going well. So we minted instantly the floor price. The floor price is like the lowest that any NFT is selling for. I went ahead, I managed to pick up two of these little ghosts on launch. And what happened was essentially the mint price was three sol and the floor price, it ended up being like 1.8 or two right after launch. There was a lot of problems with the marketplaces. Again, we're so new into Solana. This is like the first project on here. We're showing you into it that the marketplaces didn't work right and there was floor prices going crazy people were just listing and listing lower and lower and one day i'm you know playing around with this i managed to pick up two ghosts i had the 21 rarest soul so now i'm on digitalized marketplace you can see here that the floor on this is 1.5 that means the cheapest one available for sale is 1.5 sol so that's half of mint price but let me show you if we come here to advanced filters I had the 21 rarest one of these and I sold it for a ridiculous price. So you can see over here, uh, I had the diamond sword. So sword diamond, let's see if my, that's my guy. That's him right there. I owned him, I minted him. And you can see he's up for sale for 899 sol because he's the 21st rarest in the collection. Now, I don't know if it'll ever sell for that. We can see here there is a diamond sword guy going for 17 sol, 25 sol. You know, I would say that a fair price for this is maybe like 60 sol, 70 sol. I'd say you could probably sell him within a period of a few days at that price point. 899 is kind of ridiculous, but if the project does take off, it could potentially sell for something ridiculous like that. Now, 899 sol, that's like 200 grand. Insane, right? Insane prices. I was able to sell him for 22 sol and I was just listing him because I thought the project was going down the drain. There was a lot of people complaining. The discord wasn't happy. The community were angry. Digitalized marketplace was really, really messed up. And I thought, let's just get out of this. So I go ahead, I list him for 22 sol thinking, ah, he'd probably not sell today. I go to the gym. What happens when I'm at the gym? Digitalized fixes its marketplace. The problem with it was there was no filtering. I couldn't filter by you know, people with diamond swords or certain attributes that added this feature in that fixed the thing with the floor price. And they added this feature in and it meant people could filter by different attributes that also launched the rankings while I was at the gym. And I didn't realize I had the 21 rare Sol. If I did, I would have kept him. But I come back from the gym and he sold for 22 Sol immediately listed for 899. So again, it was okay. That was 22 Sol at in around a $200 Sol price. So that was like four grand. Made some nice money on it. I, I you know, I originally minted it for three Sol. So it was a nice gain. You can't be bad to that. You're not going to get them gains in the stock market. That's for sure. But I went ahead. I flipped it, sold it for 22, made four grand. And here we are. That's essentially the process I've went through over the last three weeks. I've been like infatuated by this, spending a lot of my time kind of learning about the NFT place, spending a lot of time on Twitter and discords, figuring out what's launching, what's working, what's not working and having a lot of fun with it. Honestly, it's, it, it's just silly. And I don't know whether I'm just having fun with it because I'm making a little bit of money with it or it's, you know, it's cool, it's new technology. But I have a couple more NFTs that I could sell. So currently you can see again, as I said, started with $500 three weeks ago. Uh, it's now 12,140 here. I've kind of, you know, took some out, took some profits off the table, letting some ride here in Solana. 
but there was one launch and this was the biggest launch on Solana. Aurori is a really hyped up project that had over 100,000 people on site on launch day and they only had 10,000 Orions available. You can see right here, this is Aurori. Now the floor price on this is now 19 Sol, so in around four grand or so. And the goal with Aurori is they're creating an actual game. If you go look and watch the kind of the trailers and stuff for the game, it's similar to something like Pokemon and having an NFT and a rare NFT could really help you. This is probably one of the blue chip projects on Solana and Solana art. And I managed to pick one of them up. Well, actually I had me sitting here at this computer. I had my girlfriend beside me trying to get her to mint one as well. Cause I knew these are going to be valuable. These are going to sell on the day of launch. We managed to grab one. I didn't, my girlfriend got me one. So thanks to her. And this one is pretty rare. I think it's the 600 or so rarest Aurorian. So I'll show you him right here or her. Uh, and it has the Sam outfit. So Sam is the main character in the Aurori game. So whenever the game launches, I think this project will really hype up. You can see here that I am the lowest price. I'm trying to sell it right now because I understand that these NFTs, look, I could maybe once this game gets closer to launch and hype start building up, maybe this project blows up. I could maybe sell this for 250, 300 Sol, but I would rather just get the money. You know what I mean? Like, these are illiquid JPEGs. We've got to be realistic here about what we're trading. I don't want to get carried away and get too kind of sucked into, oh no, they're, they're going to go. I, I'd like to liquidate this if I could at a reasonable price. So I've listed it here. You can see on the Solana marketplace for 90 Sol, which if it sells at that price, that would get me about $18,000 to add on to the 12,000. And that would be a $30,000 from $500 in just three weeks, which would be insane. So I've got it listed here. I only listed it last night at 90 Sol. You can see we're the cheapest on the market. There's only one other one at 95. And then after that, 199, 200. And they, they are selling. If we look here at the latest sales, you can see here one just sold for 100. Uh, he might be a little bit rarer than mine. I don't really know, but it looks like, uh, yeah, that's a blob. So 77, you know, that are selling. The rare ones sell for really ridiculous prices. And there's also... There's nine of the rarest of these Aurorians. They're called a Helios. And a Helios just sold to a VC capital fund, right? A venture capital, a VC capital fund doesn't make sense, but venture capital fund went out there and bought a Helios, the rarest character in Aurori. They bought it for $350,000. So obviously them guys, they can see something in this project that, I haven't dived deep enough into to, to see they're buying the obviously owning the rarest items in a collection is going to give you exponentially more gains if it gets popular than owning like a floor item. So we do have a rare item here. If this does explode, maybe and, and I've sold I haven't sold it yet. But if it does sell, maybe I'll regret it two months down the line when the game comes out. There's a lot of hype around this and it's blowing up. But again, I'd like to just take some money off the table here. This is extremely, extremely risky. And again, as I said, I lost everything I made the last time in the last crypto run. I want to capture some of these gains. So I've had a lot of fun with this. It's kind of insane. I'm definitely going to be minting more stuff. I think that's where the money is right now in Solana, in NFTs is if you can get in at mint, it's you know fairly low risk. Yes, you're going to need 200, 300, 500, maybe a thousand dollars to get started, but it's fairly low risk. The most you're going to lose is you know whatever you mint that, but there's potential that you grab something that is, you know, worth a thousand sol. Whenever I was doing this over the last three weeks, them initial projects, I knew if I got one, I could instantly, even if it's the least rare item in the collection, I knew I could flip it for a, for a 4X, a 5X. Now it's getting a little bit more kind of, you know, mint prices are going, or sorry, floor prices are going below mint after they launch and people are losing money because there's just so many projects. It's getting saturated now with so many projects being launched, but those first couple of days, you're just looking for a project that's coming out, mint it, zero risk, instant money, and it was kind of insane. But again, those things do not last. But if you're getting in on mints, on good projects that has a good roadmap, where there's maybe a game coming out down the line, or there's something cool happening, you can make some money with this. On the Ethereum blockchain, you know, a lot of people are fed up with the fees. They're sick of paying $300 transaction fees. And people are migrating over. People like Steve Harvey just bought a Solana monkey business, which is little pixelated monkeys. Like big people are getting into this. KSI is now in Solana. He's buying DJN apes. He's bought an Aurora, I believe. There's people, 
people are starting to migrate over and it's really been happening over the last seven days so we may see you know some of these kind of blue chip projects start to creep up and prices moving up but again not financial advice this is insane ultimately but i thought it was an interesting enough story to make a video on and share with you guys uh so yeah hopefully you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts down below are you in the nft game i made a video probably four months ago when i was doing the little like nft pokemon stuff i really wish that back then i had got deeper into this because at that time you could have bought you know bathing ape yacht club you could have bought you know some of them projects out there for really cheap that are now selling for hundreds of thousands uh i kind of just left it i bought that that stupid charmander with a, a thick booty don't know what i was thinking sold it for the same price i bought it thankfully because them things obviously crashed that was insanity but yeah it's a really really interesting space i'd love to hear your guys thoughts have you been trading anything what are you up to and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure that you hit that thumbs up button hit subscribe if you are new here and i'll see you guys in the next video